Excuse me, buddy. I don't know why we were doing it. He's like leaning on us. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? It's Grant and Shelby here, and Griffin, here with you guys today on a new thing we are doing. And we are here to challenge ourselves to not eat dairy for a full week. We think it'd be beneficial for us to kind of see exactly how much we are eating. So we are just trying this challenge just to see if we can do it and just try to limit a little bit more dairy out of our lives. So we're gonna be recording um, exactly how we feel each day. Um, we're gonna be also talking about how we avoided dairy and thinking about ingredients throughout our whole week. So, and I personally feel I'm a little bit scared to be honest because uh, a lot of my diet is dairy. Um, it's a lot of cheese, uh, just putting on top of chicken, putting on top of other things to kind of make it taste better. Yeah, so I'm a little bit scared about this, but I'm also really excited because I'll actually get to stop and think about how much I actually am eating, which is really, really good for me, especially if I'm wanting to lose fat. I'm actually not as nervous as he is. I don't consume an outrageous amount of dairy, usually. Um, so I don't, I don't think it'll be too difficult. I think the most difficult thing is probably the hidden dairy and yeah. products that like I, I guess I didn't even realize it was there. So just trying to be lactose free for this entire week, kind of treating it as though we were lactose intolerant, being extra careful not to consume dairy products. Obviously we're, pro we're probably gonna make some mistakes um, since this is really new. I'm excited to see, <laughs> I'm excited to see how I feel at the end of the week. Cutting out dairy is something that I've thought about for a long time. I've just honestly been too lazy to try. Um, so now that this is a challenge and this video is going to hold us accountable, I don't know. I'm I'm excited. I'm not necessarily nervous for it. Like I am excited and everything, but it's just I'm just going to be shocked and I'm going to be to the point where I'll just cave in, you know. But I'm going to try my best to not to not cave in. And everything. I'm just going to miss cottage cheese. Yeah, so, so I mean, cottage cheese, any sort of cheese, milk, so whey protein is completely out of our diet as well. And we recently went to the grocery store, we found all the things that did not have any milk or any dairy yeah. inside of it. So um, we're trying our best to keep it that way. Uh, we have a ton of snacks just in case. We got um, a couple pounds of chicken, some turkey, and then we got some quinoa. Fruits, veggies. Fruits, veggies. Well, around the diet, just with the dairy aspects avoided. And uh, this video is gonna be just our journey through it. So, hope you guys like it. Okay. All right, day one is in the books. Today was very interesting. Um, from waking up, what was it, about 4.30, went to go work out, ate my breakfast, which was chicken and apples. <laughs> Uh, I had an interesting lunch um, trying to figure out exactly, you know, what didn't have dairy. I stupidly asked if tater tots had milk in them. Really interesting, so the chefs actually didn't know, so they, they had to check. Uh, chicken, avocado, some spinach, uh, with tater tots and barbecue sauce. And then at home, guess what I had? Chicken and spinach and pretzels. So that's how I'm getting through it. It's probably just eating a ton of chicken. Uh, I mean, I. I felt really good. Um, I didn't really see any difference in me being myself. I just wanted cheese. Like I literally, legitimately like sought out to like think about cheese, which I never ever done before. So that, that, that was probably the most interesting thing. But other than that though, I mean, I felt like it, it was a pretty decent day. I said it wasn't gonna be hard and it wasn't, except for I messed up once. I, one of my favorite snacks is, they're called Perfect Bars. My favorite flavor is the peanut butter one, but if you know me well, peanut butter and chocolate always go together for me. They had the peanut butter ones, and then they had the peanut butter and dark chocolate ones, and the peanut butter and dark chocolate is my favorite. I grabbed it out of instinct, checked out, started eating it, and then it occurred to me that chocolate has dairy. <laughs> so it was it was a really small amount, but I did mess up today, so tomorrow, you know, I'll be more careful. As far as the rest goes, not too much changed for me. Um, 
my breakfast I had a bagel and a banana and then lunchtime came around the only thing that changed is I didn't have like the cheese that I normally put on my wrap I usually like make a turkey avocado spinach and tomato like tortilla wrap and I usually put a slice of provolone cheese that was like the only sacrifice I had to make and ultimately didn't really make that much of a difference um, the only thing I struggled with was snacking Usually like my go-to mid-afternoon snack is cottage cheese and it all it always is That's like the perfect protein packed snack. I love cottage cheese it, So I had to figure out what to eat instead I resorted to fruit which I actually had fruit in my lunch as well and I had a banana for breakfast So it wasn't until the end of the day that I realized how much fruit I had consumed and I really felt it because I have been in a lot of pain <laughs> For the last two or three hours, I just felt a lot of like bloating, which I was excited that getting rid of dairy would potentially get rid of. But instead I substituted it with too much sugar and fruits and it gave me more bloating. So it's having to figure out how to substitute snacks, I guess. So it'll be a little more challenging than I figured it might be. Definitely doable. I just have to be more cognizant of food labels. How'd you feel whenever you didn't take your protein today. Did that change you at all? Yeah, because I was I was more hungry today. Um, my protein shake does a really good job of being me full throughout the day. Even if I just take it in the morning, it tends to curb my hunger throughout the entire day, which is why I really like the protein that I take. Not having that made me hungry, so I had to resort to snacking, which brings me back to the issue I just discussed. So that's definitely hard as well. Um, I do know that there are tons of dairy-free protein options out there. For a week-long challenge, not necessarily worth the investment, but if yeah, this 30, were 40. to be, exactly, if this were to become, you know, a lifestyle change, that might be something that I would consider. But for now, I just miss my protein. So pretty much you had fruits and I had chicken. Yes. That's the best way to explain it. Yeah. So uh, let's see how day two goes. For me, I feel like I pretty much, you're, I'm almost on the high of like day one, you know, I uh, didn't really change it too much. But once I start eating this more consistently, I can probably start feeling my my stomach will retaliate so that's the one thing I'm not really looking forward to but um, other than that though I mean like my workout did really well I was okay during the day I did have a little slump but that was just because of work I couldn't really focus pretty up to par on actually a little bit even above so I'm pretty pleased so far let's see how day two goes we go. are you good bro <laughs> day two um, let's see here. Today we had breakfast burritos, which was awesome. No cheese. No cheese Just at all. Just a tortilla and eggs. Just a tortilla and eggs. <laughs> and then had for lunch salmon with a cliff bar because of I tried the sweet potato, but it turns out they actually use butter. Thankfully I only had one bite, so I'm calling that okay and then yeah had an apple um had more chicken more carrots pretzels and then had more breakfast burritos tonight with uh, chicken instead so i feel okay um i feel I, I felt a little bit drained at the gym but i just think that that was just because of this morning <laughs> Day four, not really much happened. Really easy day. I didn't really have breakfast, which that kind of sucked. It's normally in my routine, so was looking for a substitute, which would have been a protein shake or some protein, but had to just get uh, pretzels and apple juice. So um, other than that, had some chicken, had a had a burrito today. I had a Cliff Bar, the nuts and raisins one, which is, it's actually pretty good, um, especially with no chocolate in it. So um, I feel like I'm just getting into a groove. I don't have to stress about, oh, what if there's cheese in here? Oh, what if there's dairy? I know kind of like what I want within a day. Today was my first day eating out all week for any of my meals and the other thing I struggled with was actually choosing like chips to have on the side. Grabbed a bag of chips, looked at it, said it contained milk, so I handed it back, asked for another one, said it contained milk. I didn't want to keep bothering her 
so I left. But this is still new to me, so it's being able to gain the confidence to be able to ask those questions, you know, being handed seven bags of chips until you find the one that works for you. That was really the only obstacle I ran into today. You know, a lot of people actually think that I'm lactose intolerant. But anyway, um, yeah, rolling into day five. I think the thing I miss my, the most are my protein shakes. Yeah. They fill me up really well, curb my appetite through the whole day, and so not being able to have any protein shakes this whole week has really kind of messed that up for me, so I've been hungry really often, and I've been snacking a lot more. I've been snacking a lot more too. Um, that's, that's kind of a huge thing there. Um, I'm just ready to pick whatever I want, like based off of how I feel, instead of having the same thing over and over again, because it's, go it, it's getting to that point to where I just want to get it done. Day five, uh, we'll see how that goes. Day four, no, day, is it day five? five? It's day five. Let's see here, today I had chicken and egg burrito, I had chicken tacos, and then another chicken burrito, so. It was really easy to, to get through it. The only problem was that at work they had some Krispy Kremes and I really, really wanted one. But in the nutritional facts, they had dried milk. So uh, it was no go there, but you know, we're just have a couple days left. So yeah, I'm ready for this to honestly be over just so I don't have to think about, about the food. But at the same time, I want to continue to think about my food before I consume it. What you, how was your day? I had a breakfast burrito this morning. I ate some leftovers from last night for lunch, and then I made a ground turkey tacos for dinner. I agree, I'm getting a little tired of having to look every single nutrition label, which kind of makes me appreciate people that do have like allergies or intolerances to certain ingredients like gluten or lactose or anything like that. This makes me realize like how difficult it is to actually find products, at least popular products that are lactose free and whatever. It makes me feel like almost eating is a chore. Yeah, and I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure if this were a lifestyle that I had to adopt, it would eventually become Easy. Easy and it wouldn't feel like a chore. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little sick of looking at every single label and having to put something back. But it's a small sacrifice and it hasn't been too difficult. I think the one thing I will keep up after this is done is cutting out cheeses. Yeah, it it's like I feel really good during the day, which is awesome, but it just, it just, it, it, the convenience almost overweighs like feeling great. And which I know that's bad to say, but that's kind of how it is. It's almost to the point, it, it, ju it just gets annoying that I had to look at nutritional facts. That might sound a little bit petty, because, but I- You're used to one lifestyle and you're having to switch it over to another for yeah. some time, it's gonna feel like an inconvenience. Yeah, which. so that's kind of the, the huge thing. But anyway, day six is rolling out, or coming up. So uh, we are at the weekend where it's gonna be a little bit harder. We, we don't have work to kind of satisfy almost our hunger or satisfy us, you know, it's like, granted we have some things to do, but it's not going to be as much as work is, so what, uh, how, how do you feel about tomorrow? See, I think this weekend it's going to be just as easy as it's been. You know, I complain about not being able to eat certain things, but ultimately it's, it's not a difficult thing to do. All right. Getting ready for day six, and then day seven is the last day. Hey guys, so we finished out the weekend. We went ahead and combined uh, day six and day seven videos together. Yeah, we went a full week with no dairy. I felt pretty great throughout the week. You know, at the beginning, I didn't really like it. I felt really upset, almost uh, to the point of getting angry because I had to look at it, look at all the ingredients, and also I could just pick anything willy nilly. You know. Um, but now I'm to the point to where, you know, I'm comfortable with, with looking at ingredients. I'm comfortable with asking people what are in specific foods. I probably will continue this, um, or at least just keep this in the back of my head and in the back of my mind. Um, whenever I'm picking out foods, I definitely will be looking at ingredients more, um, the cutting out some dairy products, um, cutting out cheeses. I definitely learned a lot on this week. How, how'd you feel about this week? I was honestly hoping to feel more of a difference as far as like how I felt or like my energy levels or anything like that. And I personally didn't feel much 
different. I was a little less satisfied in what I was eating, and I think that mostly had a lot to do with cutting out my protein shakes. I think I'm gonna try and continue with reducing the amount of dairy that I consume. I agree, I'll probably lay off cheese. It's kind of an unnecessary amount of fat and calories that you add to things, and it's a simple change to make. But there are certain things I'm very excited to reintroduce into my diet, like my protein shakes and cottage cheese. <laughs> yeah. So. And which we'll probably be doing more wheat challenges as um, time goes by, so uh, be sure to tune in to those. Um, and, and a huge thing there is that there are going to be challenges to where it's not just physical or like dietary, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be a lot, some of mental, um, some of even financial, just benefiting us as a whole. Almost taking a step back and just recognizing, you know, some of our faults or um, some things that we can improve on, or even just some things we didn't know that was out there. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching this recap of our week. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like this video and please subscribe and uh, thank you so much for watching.